Hello and welcome back. In the previous tutorials and the previous videos, we created those two services, the NB Explorer and the Bitcoin D service. Now the Bitcoin D service, this service downloads and validate a complete copy of the blockchain and the NB Explorer, it extracts only the meaningful information out of the complete blockchain that the Bitcoin D uh, service downloaded. So this is what we did in the previous uh, videos. <coughs> Sorry. And in this video, I'm going to create the BTC Pay server uh, service itself, which again, don't forget, this is only one component in our complete BTC Pay server stack. As we can see, we have other components that we need to create, such as the Postgres components, as well as the Tor components, in order to get our service uh, up and running. So just as before, I'm going to create the service BTC Pay, and I'm going to make sure that the container name will be the same, so BTC Pay. It should restart always, automatically. So restart always, there we go. And I will get the image file from the BTC Pay server Docker Hub. So BTC Pay server and BTC Pay server. Sorry, BTC Pay server. And the version is 1.0.3 and 118. Yes, that is the version number. Now I can see in the diagram that this time I'm not going to expose any port, so I'm moving on uh, quickly to my environment variables. And the first environment variable will be the one that is related to the Postgres process. This variable will tell our BTC Pay server how it should connect to our Postgres service once it will be up and running. So I start by BTC Pay. I'm going to copy it so it will be easier for me to paste it later on. And Postgres. And again, I didn't create this service yet, but eventually this um, environment variable will refer to this Postgres uh, service that I'm about to show you right now. Oh, sorry, it should be Postgres. Yes. Anyway, eventually this environment variable will be the one that will help us to connect to this Postgres uh, process. And we will do so using the user command. And we are going to give it the ID Postgres. And the host should also be Postgres. So Postgres. The port, it's quite simple, should be port 5432. This is the default for port for the Postgres service. And finally, database should be equal to BTC Pay Server mainnet, mainnet. And the mainnet, of course, refers to the fact that we are using the main network. Um, as we saw earlier, everything is on the mainnet, so please be careful. There we go. Now, I received your question on how to properly identify the environment variables and how to properly parse them. And as I said in the first video, basically what I do here is I go to the BTC Pay server uh, Docker GitHub page and I find the different fragments, the different components for each one of the services. And I'm also creating those services, those stack on my local machine using uh, those tools that they have on their GitHub page. And I basically try to compare the different stacks, the different Docker Compose architectures, and I compare those files manually in order to understand how those uh, environment variables affects our final product. So this is basically what I did. And again, if you are not so sure about the environment variables, I recommend taking a look at these uh, examples on the BTC Pay Server Docker GitHub page. So this is it about those uh, environment variables. Back to our code. The next one, very simple. This is the network variable. Just as before, we are going to specify BTC Pay network. And the network that I'm going to use is of course the main network, the main net, just as before, just as we saw um, sorry, network. And just as before, just as we saw on the NB Explorer and also on the Bitcoin D service, this is the main net. The next variable, the BTC pay chains variable, 
it should be equal to BTC and this is just as before we already saw it in the section about the NB Explorer it tells our service which chain we are going to use what type of blockchains we are going to use and of course we expect to get the BTC chain the Bitcoin chain because that's the one that our Bitcoin D service uh, downloads so Bitcoin BTC pay root path the name is quite self-explanatory there you go root path what should be the path of our root and we're going to keep it as the default we're just going to keep it as root very simple very straightforward the next variable deals with the BTC explorer URL so BTC explorer URL this is basically how we can communicate with our Bitcoin Explorer and we already know that our Explorer is this NB Explorer over here at the top and we want to be able to connect to this service so we know that we should connect to it using HTTP connection we want to connect to NB Explorer and as for the port we can see in our service that this is port 32838 this is the port that we've bounded also so back in our uh, variable come on 32838 there we go now the next variables will deal with our Tor service I'm going to start with the BTC pay socks endpoint and I will point to Tor at port 9050 now I haven't created this Tor service yet but as we saw in the diagram eventually all of our communication will be routed via this Tor service so eventually we are going to have this Tor service up and running and all of the communication between BTC pay server and the outer world will be routed through this Tor service and it will happen um, via port 9050 so this is our SOX endpoint the next variable is the Tor RC or the Tor configuration file so BTC pay Tor RC file and this file will be eventually located under user local etc Tor and Tor RC2 this is the Tor configuration file I didn't created this file yet but we will create this file together when we get to this Tor generator uh, service section so yeah that's it now for the last environment variable it will be the hidden services um, name this should be basically the name in which our Tor service will refer to this uh, BTC pay so I'm going to just keep it as BTC pay server that's it okay so I completed my uh, environment variables and I'm going to create my volumes and I can see that I have four different type of volumes the BTC pay server volume and the NB Explorer volumes and two volumes that are related to Tor so I'm going to create a list of my volumes and the first volume will be BTC pay uh, data and just as the name of the volumes that we've already declared so data and I'm going to mount this volume onto the data there and the next volume this will be the NB Explorer data and I will mount it onto root dot NB Explorer and I can already see that just as we saw earlier some volumes are shared between two different services the NB Explorer data is shared between two services the NB Explorer service and the BTC pay uh, service as well and it is interesting to try and figure out what information passes between those two services using this port 32838 and what information passes between those two services using this uh, shared volume anyway now for the Tor volumes we are going to begin with the Tor RC volume this is basically the Tor configuration file so Tor RC data and I'm going to mount it you won't be surprised to the same place where I expect to find my Tor configuration file so I'm just going to copy paste this uh, path over here the user local etc Tor 
and eventually again this is where our volume will be mounted and this is where our torc2 uh, file will be located and now the final volume this is the tor services data volume tor services there we go data and i will mount it onto var lib tor and hidden services now we don't really have anything in those volumes yet we need to create our tor services in order to get our tor rc file as well as our tor hidden services oh extra s over here hidden services data but we should declare them nevertheless and that's it basically for the volumes finally i am going to link the btc pay server uh, service so sorry links and we can see both from the diagram as well as from the environment variables that i should link it to three different services the first one is the btc um, explorer which is of course the nb explorer right over here then we got the tor service where all the communication will be routed and eventually the postgres uh, service which i haven't created yet so let's get back to our code and we are going to link those three services we got the nb explorer we got tor and finally postgres okay so this is it i got another component in my stack ready to go i'm not going to test this one using the docker compose app because if i will try to run this i will simply get errors because i don't have the postgres uh, process ready yet and the tor process isn't created yet as well so there is really nothing to examine here but soon we are going to create both the postgres process the postgres service as well as the tor services and hopefully if there is no any error here we will get our btc pay server up and running see you in the next video thank you for watching